without my LCP coursework, I would have had no basis for studying abroad or holding an internship abroad in a foreign language. Uh, as a freshman, I started with German 101, and by my senior year, I was fluent enough to live, study, and work in Germany, in German, by myself. During my coursework, I learned engineering and business-specific vocabulary, how to begin researching in German, uh, and even the different nuances of writing my resume in German, which was particularly helpful uh, since I had to interview for my internship in German. Uh, furthermore, my German language abilities and experience living and working in Germany were directly useful during my previous two jobs. Both of my previous two jobs were at engineering companies that had engineering offices in the U.S. and Germany, among other countries. Um, I was sent over to Germany multiple times to work with my counterparts to uh, learn, teach, and innovate. My internship in Germany was definitely key in boosting my confidence in being able to work with international multilingual teams. I often say that my internship abroad was the most stressful thing I've done professionally, but the best thing I could have ever done to boost my career. I think that by studying abroad and having a few professors here at Iowa State who are native speakers, I am a little bit more prepared to interact with native speakers when I enter the workforce. And when you're in small town Spain, a lot of people don't assume that you speak English. They assume that you speak Spanish, and so they start talking to you in Spanish immediately, and you have to kind of switch your, your brain really fast and kind of know how to do that really well. And that has really helped, especially my travels. I traveled to a lot of small towns, and so I had to, you know, make sure that I was ready right away. And I think that will help me a lot when I'm dealing with native speakers and people who speak really fast um, in the pace that I'm not used to. So to begin, I think primarily what helped me become the most comfortable in um, talking to other Spanish native speakers, um, just in general, were the courses that I have taken. I think that a lot of the professors um, are very good at introducing a lot of conversational elements into the classes, which I think is very important. Um, I know, at least in my previous high school experiences, that a lot of the course occasionally did focus on reading and listening elements, which are very important in their own perspective. However, conversationally, sometimes um, things were not as focused on, and so I think that um, a lot of courses here really do value the importance of at least practicing um, communicational aspects um, every day in class, which has been very beneficial in talking to native speakers. Also, um, study abroad programs, of course, are um, highly beneficial, primarily because that allows you to directly interact with native speakers, um, get new vocabulary, and also be able to hear a variety of different accents um, or dialects that people might not normally be exposed to in the classroom. And so that has all been highly beneficial. And then additionally, one other experience that I think has been really helpful is I am um, one of the officers of the Spanish club. And so I weekly, I really have to work on being very diligent about practicing my Spanish and then moving that into a leadership role to be able to help other people. And so I think it really does solidify um, Spanish speaking knowledge when you l learn it and then you also move into that position where you're helping to teach others or be able to practically apply it in your everyday life, um, maybe in relation to a different subject or a different kind of topic. And I think overall that has been very beneficial as well. Uh, so in summary, I think that a lot of different WLLC programs and opportunities have been very helpful in allowing me to better communicate with native Spanish speakers and be able to be confident in my Spanish speaking ability in these multilingual environments. Thank you. What's really unique about the LCP program and the courses that we take, be it for LCP Spanish or German or another language, is that these courses are meant to prepare us for real life interaction with native speakers from other countries and other places different from our own. Um, so one thing that I feel the LCP program has provided me um, that has allowed me to feel prepared to do this 
is a safe space to practice my language skills, to practice with other people, um, and feel more confident in my Spanish speaking abilities. Learning on your own is really challenging and trying to learn a whole language on your own without having someone to talk to or practice with is almost impossible. But the LCP program really provides a welcoming environment for students to come to class, to practice these skills, to work on their language competency without feeling like they're being judged or without feeling like they aren't getting it quite yet. It's a really great environment to learn and to practice things that you want to get better at. So for the LCP program, for me, some experiences that I've had that I find key to me feeling comfortable and confident um, speaking in another language with someone who is a native from a different country and, and it's their native language. Um, the LCP program allowed me to spend a semester studying abroad. I studied abroad in Cáceres the spring semester of my sophomore year. So I spent three to three and a half months there. And um, those three months were by far the best three months of my college experience so far. It really allowed me to feel completely submersed in the culture um, and really work on my skills and my abilities and just to feel more confident talking to native speakers. Um, my program, the one that I chose to go study abroad, allowed me to stay with a host family and my host mom knew no English, didn't know any English at all. So for me, it was an experience to really dive into the language um, and to just do my best to learn as much as I could, especially with native speakers. And I think that's something that was really helpful for me to feel more confident and feel more capable in my language speaking abilities. Um, I would say in terms of a professional environment, the classes that we take in the LC program are tailored to us wanting a career in a professional environment, whether that be in business or engineering or some other area of work. Um, but the classes we take really allow us to have a different perspective on professionalism in another culture. For example, one of my favorite classes is I took translation for Spanish and it really helped me to understand um, how much work goes behind translating a document in English to translating a document in Spanish. It's not as easy as just submitting it to Google Translate and copying and pasting. Um, it takes a lot of thought to really get the same meaning and the same um, understanding behind one phrase in English to one phrase in Spanish, which it has been one of my favorite classes and I really enjoy it so far. So I would say overall, um, what has prepared me the most has been my experience studying abroad and just the courses that we take here in the LCP program. So part of the requirements for the LCP program is an internship abroad. And I was actually lucky enough that I got to have two internships abroad, one in the spring of 2017 and one in the summer of 2018. So spring 2017, I went to Casa de Spain and had my first internship there with a small startup company called Train Your Talent. They did team building activities for different companies. So that was really fun because I had a lot of creative freedom. I was able to learn how to create website content and other materials in uh, Spanish, but not only that, this was my first time to really immerse myself in the Spanish culture and learn how they conduct business and how they work. So, you know, the American job system is you work eight to five, you have an hour for lunch in the middle, um, but the Spanish have siesta around between like two and five, so that was a... Uh, Something I had to kind of learn to bring myself to go to work in the morning, go back home for a couple hours, and then return to work once um, for like another hour or two. And for me, it was hard to get used to that because I'm so used to just being in the zone, going, going, going on my job, and then stopping right at five versus sometimes, you know, the Spanish are a little slower. They like to get things done at a slower pace. Um, but really, that showed me that. It's also more about the quality of the work they put out, and they just like to take time to build relationships and talk and get to know their coworkers. And so, you know, every other day or so, I'd be going out and getting coffee with my bosses because they just wanted to get to know me and build that uh, working relationship, which I think sometimes here we miss out on. And so with that, that experience, you know, throwing myself into the water like that, um, really prepared me for my summer 2018 internship in Valencia, Spain, because there it was a completely different city, uh, much larger, just different, almost demographic that I was working with because I was working for a small dance shop. So I was helping her, the boss and the owner of the, uh, the dance store, build website content, post things across platform, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, um, 
all these things that I would do in the United States, just doing it with Spanish language instead. And I had a lot of fun in that internship because I actually knew how to communicate with my boss. So I built this great relationship with her that carried on through when I was in the United States. I still keep in touch with my boss there. And for me, I think that working abroad gave me that confidence to go back again and say, okay, I can handle another internship. Because now I understand the cultural norms of how the Spanish, you know, do their day-to-day -day tasks. I understand siesta. I prepare for siesta. Um, just a bunch of things that you would never dream of doing in the United States is how they do things in Europe. And that's how business is everywhere. It's just different. And no matter if you go to Asia, South America, Europe. So for me, LCP really developed my skills in adapting to different situations and different uh, work styles because you're going to run into people who do things differently than you do, even in the United States. And it's one of those things where you learn and you adapt to it. Maybe you have your own spin to how you're going to work with that person. But for me, I really enjoyed my two internships abroad. And I think that that's really what helped me kind of gain confidence to go out and search for jobs that ensure that I'm that person that can be a little bit more on the cultural side of connecting with Spanish speakers. Um, because now I feel like I could go international again and do it all over again. And hopefully one day I think that's what I want to do. Um, so for me personally, like I said, I did get the opportunity to work in some research positions through the World Language and Cultures Department. And that specifically really showed me what it means to be a professional, not only in the Spanish-speaking world, but also in the world in general, like how you carry yourself, how you communicate with one person, or how you communicate with other people. And that was something that was indispensable to me because as somebody who wants to participate in research later in life, that's very important to know how to do. Um, going towards the, how it prepared me to interact with native speakers, I was constantly surrounded by native speakers in my courses, you know, taking 300, 400 level courses, it was very common to be in a class with, with native Spanish speakers. And I think a way that they prepared us to do that is really just, you know, ripping the band-aid off early on, you know, don't be afraid to say something and sound silly, don't be afraid to, to just speak, you know, that's, that's how you learn. You can't, you can't learn a language without ever speaking it. You know, you can read as much as you want, you can learn the grammar as much as you want, but if you don't ever actually use it, then you're not truly learning it. I mean, you might be a good writer, but I feel like the ability to use a language and the ability to convey your ideas in a language stems a lot further than just being able to write or just being able to read. You have to be able to share your ideas with somebody else, which is extremely important and something that I was very well prepared to do thanks to the World Language and Cultures Department and the LCP program. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, a key key port or key parts to feeling comfortable and confident in these types of multilingual and international professional environments just accepting from the, I mean, obviously being respectful and being mindful of what you say, but from the beginning just saying how you feel, you know, and if there's a misunderstanding then working through that, but not holding back your ideas because you're scared of how you might sound, you know, you might be speaking with a with a strange accent or like you might use the wrong word or in the wrong syntax, like just just getting in and, and speaking and, and, and communicating with people, I think, was something that was preached early on. And once you were desensitized to that, it was a lot easier to just stand up in front of people and convey your ideas and not not worry. And then in turn, once you stop worrying, you're able to, to communicate a lot more and share a lot more and really begin to learn that much more. Thanks. Studying abroad was a huge preparatory action in my life in terms of being comfortable with my Spanish level fluency. I knew that uh, I could study years and years and understand how to read and write in Spanish, but to be truly bilingual and biliterate, I needed to be able to converse effectively with my peers and other native Spanish speaking um, individuals. And so with my study abroad, what I found was I was forcing myself to do that, really getting outside of my comfort zone, making sure that I 
was effectively communicating with folks. And if I didn't know words, if I didn't have the vocabulary yet, what vocabulary did I have in order to get my point across? And so the LCP program and coursework really prepared me to interact with native speakers who um, were just as patient with me as I like to be with others when uh, trying to communicate. And also, as I am leading a bilingual school, I recognize that language development is huge. Uh, oftentimes, students or kids really won't speak in their non-dominant language because they don't have the words. But being in a country where it was Spanish speaking and I had no option, it, was, it forced me to interact and it forced me to, to try. And with that, I gained the confidence of, okay, I can communicate. Is it perfect? No. Did I get my point across? More or less. And with each interaction, I did a little bit better. I didn't technically get any um, a Spanish speaking, uh, Spanish uh, education specific uh, interactions or um, any education specific uh, language access. But in general, I did get a lot of really rich uh, interactions that helped build my own confidence and um, help make connections for myself of how I could learn and be um, and access resources to improve my own Spanish. The coursework and structure of the LCP program um, here will prepare me to speak with native speakers by the content of the classes as well as the required study abroad or internship experience. Um, I studied abroad in Cáceres, Spain, and I feel as though being immersed in the culture and um, language, my speaking, reading, and comprehension of Spanish grew immensely. I felt more comfortable being able to understand the native speakers in a conversation and felt more confident to converse back um, to them. We also do a lot of speaking assessments and speaking in classes to get us more comfortable and confident in our abilities. Um, we also uh, take classes to learn about the history as well as modern day of both Latin America and Spain um, to know more about the culture and the people there. I have not started my engineering position yet, but over the summer, as I worked at that plant farm in Wisconsin that had many Hispanic employees, it was fun for me to be able to speak with them in Spanish as we carried out the task for the job. Since I didn't have Spanish classes any longer, I appreciated the time I could converse with them and use all that I had learned while in school. I especially got to reinforce grammar subjects such as commands for that job. I wasn't afraid to make mistakes, and I knew that I could ask them if I didn't know how to say something. I also learned a few new words. Of course, staying abroad really helped me become more confident when using my Spanish. But the basic beginner Spanish classes were also super important, teaching me the grammar and helping me build the vocabulary so that I could speak more correctly and naturally. Having a solid foundation and the confidence and motivation to continue progression in my second language, I am ready to handle just about anything.